Welcome to the EXP Group, one of the leading providers of business training solutions. Please enjoy this presentation and visit us on the web at www.theexpgroup.com for more information. Hello and welcome to today's ACCA P3 EXP training video. Now today we're going to be finishing off chapter five of our express notes and we'll be looking at methods of expansion. First of all though I'd just like to go back to the start of chapter five and just remind us of some of the key things that we've covered in this chapter. Now it's all about choice, strategic choice and there's some very important models that we've covered in this chapter. First of all, we had a quick look at the parenting style theory, Gould and Campbell. Now, hopefully, if you saw the earlier video, you can remember that there were three main approaches. Financial control, strategic control, and strategic planning. And that ranged from, at one extreme, in effect, just setting budgets and then monitoring the budgets to the other extreme was getting involved within the strategy of each of the SBUs. And then we had in the middle, strategic control, which is the middle ground. We then looked at BCG matrix, Boston Consulting Group matrix, and that introduced us to uh, a portfolio planning model. Now, remember, the cash cow generates a cash and we need to push that to question marks and stars because the aim is to move question marks so they become stars and stars so they become cash cows. Boston Consulting Group Matrix. Um, an extension of the Boston Consulting Group Matrix and another portfolio planning model was a General Electric Matrix, which set a matrix according to how attractive the industry from low up to high and how, how strong, what's your business position from low up to high and the view was if you're in the top right hand corner then we have to invest in those we have to grow those bottom left hand we should be harvesting or divesting and the ones in the middle is a big question mark we have to look at those on a case by case basis we then introduced Porter's generic strategy again this is very important and Porter's generic strategy introduced this concept of differentiation and cost leadership. So remember the diagram we looked at, where we had in the middle, cost leadership, you make a larger profit because you've got lower costs. Differentiation, you make a larger profit because you can charge more, because it's a different product. We then had a look at... Bowman's strategy clock and this is best analyzed by looking at the diagram here where we have price and perceived added value and remember they the one two three four five are valid methods which could result in its success whereas six seven eight here that's where there's going to be a problem so you're charging a high price, but there's a low perceived added value. It's going to have problems and is unlikely to work. We then introduce Anzoff's matrix, key model. Anzoff's matrix, also known as a product market mix, introduces ourselves to what do we do with an existing product in an existing market, consolidate, penetrate, withdraw, New product, existing market, product development, new market, existing product, market development, and then diversification. Now, just to finish off this chapter, I'm going to spend a couple of moments talking about various methods of expansion. First one here, we've got internal development. Now, this is referred to as organic growth. So this is where an organization will will grow by using its own resources, organic growth. 
Let's say there's company X wants to start operations in country, country Y. So maybe new language, new culture, various things like that. If they go with organic growth, it would be a case of employees and resources from company X going over to country Y and growing the business in company in country Y. Advantages of organic growth include the fact that you know the employees that are responsible for the growth, the employees know you. There are no surprises about the culture or anything like that. A disadvantage could be that um, it takes time and it, it's quite a slow method because you've got to allow time for your own resources to grow. Another method of expansion we have mergers and acquisitions. Mergers and acquisitions. Now, as the notes actually say, these are often treated as being the same thing, but in, in true terms, a true merger is what is known as a joining of equals. And this is where organizations of approximately the same size and strength come together. So examples we've got here, Glaxo Welcome and SmithKline Beecham merged to form Glaxo SmithKline. An acquisition or a takeover is when there is a target company, usually a smaller one, is acquired by a larger one. And as we said here, acquisition may be friendly, where if it's friendly, the company being acquired is in favour of the takeover or an hostile acquisition. And this is where the company does not want to be taken over. Next thing to look at, we've got a term called strategic alliance. Now this is where there is not a merger or a formal joint venture, but instead it's a relationship between various parties aiming to achieve objectives. But they both remain independent. Examples where this can be found include airline. Airline alliances. Sky Team, for example, Star Alliance, these are all strategic alliances. Final one to have a look at is the franchise. Now this is where the franchisor is a company that owns a brand, owns a brand name and so on, and it gives the right to another entity or organization or person to become a franchisee and to use the franchisor's brand. This is normally exchanged for a capital sum or royalty payment. And there are some very well-known organizations around the world which are operated by way of franchise. For example, McDonald's. And certain IKEA operations in some countries are under a franchise. Okay, so that's the end of Chapter 5 of the Express Notes. Um, make sure you, you spend quite a bit of time on chapter 5 because that's a key area and there's lots of important points within that chapter which are examined on a regular basis. Okay, thank you very much for listening today and please come back tomorrow and we will have a look at chapter 6. Thank you for listening.